Hey Tubes, this is Blazer Project. Well, today it's basically small projects. Basically starting up the mowers, see if they need to be jumped, charged batteries, and so forth. Dang it. So that's one project, and then also got two containers I'm gonna modify to basically how do I want to say constant feed my siphon sandblasting gun, which is needed. Oh, there it is. So that's that. Fifteenth is when we go up, take the welder, go get the supplies. I need most of the supplies, other prices and everything for the sandblasting booth, which I'll show you a general design later on in the video. But first things first, let me close up the toolbox. Got those two, and then the pony, that's what I call it, over here. Get on through. That one right there. See if these suckles will start. So let me get you guys set up because this is always fun. All right. Gio. Chokes pulled. Brake is set. Let's see if this thing will even turn. Sorry. Now let's see if this thing will start or I got to
she's cold. But she's running. That's running. That's running and workhorse is running. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Means I don't have to buy batteries this year. Yes! Which is always nice, which means only oil and filters. So that's awesome. Now on to the second part of the project. I've got to get tools for that, so hang tight. Okay, all of you know the sandblaster I use is a siphon type. Got it right here. Stick that metal tube in the sandbag, hook it up to air, and away you go. Well, it shoots it out in spurts, which sucks, so got one of these blue containers. Not going to tell you where. I right, get in trouble for it. Plan is take this barb fitting, drill a hole, stick it in the bottom, hook the end of the hose on, and it gets a constant feed. And I'll fill this with a sandblast media, and so on and so forth. So that's basically it. Now let's get to work and doing this. Drill. Do it. Brand new drill, by the way. This is the first time it's been used. I go the right way. And get the drill bit where it belongs. Ah, come on. Spin it the right way, Nick. Freaking crying out loud. Parents got this for me for Christmas, so I don't use my dad's all the dang time, which I do. So, that did center. <laughs> One moment. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So glad I'm in here. Got it. Now let's screw this in. Okay, got it all figured out. Forget how to do some more trimming with the drill and everything, but here's the setup basically. That's going to be filled up with sand. This is going to constantly feed all the way there to the gun 
That way it doesn't shoot in spurts or anything, so it keeps a constant, basically, uh, excuse me, constant feed to the gun, and I keep sandblasting, and all I gotta do is refill that when it's empty, and so on and so forth. So, that's that. Simple, easy. Hell, you can even do it with a five gallon bucket or something else. So, that's that. Now let's head inside and I'll show you the model I made of the sandblasting booth I created using just wire coat hangers, some tape, and a ruler basically. So you get an idea of what's about to happen and be built. So stay tuned. Alright tubes, in the house now, my room. So basically here's the model of what the sandblasting booth is going to be and I'll point it all out also looks like the cats decided to have a little fun so see how well this lasts alright basically one inch equals one foot is the scale I used up here is going to be sort of like a wind tunnel shoving air from a good sized fan into here which is the main booth area it's going to be 10 foot long, 7 foot high, roof is going to be about 2 foot high with a 10 foot piece in it. And then back here, where this is, get you guys out for a moment, is going to be where the air vents are. Now I'm going to be using three roof vents. This is just rough, pointing down. Now I want it as big as that that way I can park the blazer in it temporarily or if I got to pull the nose of a vehicle in I can do that so that's that now that figures it out to about 18 10 foot long inch and a half PVC pipes which is around I believe if I go to Arc City form is around 121 bucks which is technically not bad but considering I gotta go up on the 15th to go take the welder to go get it fixed, we may stop at a few other places, get some prices, and if I catch a deal, I'm gonna get them all. So that's that. The sandblasting booth is happening a little bit at a time, and trust me, I've got a lot of figuring up to do. So hang tight, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Bye.